John, uh, how would you assess your first week as Wigan Athletic Manager? Uh, busy, um, really enjoyable. I think uh, because an environment I know, I know there's been some changes in the environment, but I'm really happy to be back. Met some really, really great people that I hadn't seen for a long time, and then it's been it's been full on. Um, hopefully the players enjoyed it, but I'd imagine they found it quite hard as well. You talk about full on the transfer window was obviously full on for the club as well. And you managed to bring in a few new faces. Uh, are you happy with the squad? Are you happy with your additions? Yeah, very happy um, with the work that uh, that Mal and the chairman did really to to give us uh, more strength in certain areas that I wanted in the last three days. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with the squad now. I think uh, it's my job to give them the confidence to to really feel like we can stay in this league. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a hectic couple of days, but really enjoyable. I'm presuming in an ideal world you'd have liked a little bit more time and a little bit more time in that window, <laughs> but obviously that's football and. It's such a unique situation, I think, for the club. For also maybe what the support, uh, maybe well, maybe they do understand is that obviously there's certain plans that are put in place many weeks and months before windows. So it's a really unique situation that's happened. Um, but uh, saying that, I think the the last two or three days, uh, particularly the CEO, worked incredibly hard to try and give me what what I wanted, and they managed to do that. So um, yeah, it's a big thank you to them for the work that they put in, but. We have to also make sure that um, the next window, it's very different and we're a lot stronger than we were this window. There's a real buzz in the camp at training, we can see that, the smiles on people's faces. Um, that must make your job much easier coming in and the players are really keen and, and, and happy to be here. Yeah, it's it's good to see. Um, I want them as happy and as comfortable as possible because at that moment then I really want to push them um, push them to perform. I think we're, we've worked very hard in both boxes. Um, to try and improve uh, the areas that have cost us in games, in the last 16, 17 games. So I want them to enjoy it, but I also want them to feel like they're really, one, getting better as individuals, and, and obviously we have to make the team better. You touched on uh, being better in both boxes. Yeah. It's probably an obvious one, really, but is that something that, is that your key message to them as players? That's, that's the, the key area you see improvement? Yeah, we have to do that really quickly. I think um, we're not at the beginning of a pre-season. We're not, we don't have beginning of a period of time to train we have to make some really uh, really big adjustments and quick adjustments um, to help us try and win games so um, yeah in both boxes it has to change um, but the players have been very open I think they just want clarity um, uh, and that clarity will come over the weeks and the months but it also has to happen very very quickly we've got a game Monday um, but the players have been very good I've been really impressed with how open they've been and look I've pushed them very very hard um, but they've met that challenge, so what we need to do is meet, we need to meet that challenge on the pitch on Monday. Um, and it's my job to prepare them. Talking about Monday, um, how are the new lads settling in, the, the loanees? And, and, and I know Miguel Aziz is, is unfortunately suspended this, this week, but have the other five blokes got a chance to feature? Yeah, of course they do, yeah. Um, I'll give the players every single session to, to earn their place in the team or, or place in the squad. Um, so they've settled in very well. Um, and what I would say is that they've they've all three that came uh, came for me um, had to push as well to come here. Um, they all had to make big uh, big decisions in their career, and they all wanted to really come here. They were all ready for the fight. Some of them had uh, hard journeys to get here. Um, like it wasn't all uh, just one flight. Some of them had big big drives to get here, and they were desperate for the fight. So really happy to get them here, and also really happy that they want to be here. Talk about Monday, Blackburn. Your your first game as manager. Um, what are you expecting from Blackburn Rovers on their on their own patch? Tough one. Yeah, I think they're a good team. Uh, really attacking team. They attack with big numbers. Um, they've changed tactically in the uh, since the start of the season from a back three to a really really attacking sort of back four. Um, so yeah, how we um, but we have to we have to have the confidence that we're going to hurt them when we have the ball. Um, so I'm really looking forward to. It. I, I really want our players to to go with no fear. Um, but let Blackburn know they're in a game from from that first whistle. And on a personal level, how will you feel on the touchline? I feel proud. Uh, it's a club that um, I have a big history with. I had affinity. I loved playing here. I loved the area. I loved the town. So um, I want to give them that back, and I want them to feel that there's a team there that they can uh, they can connect to and be really proud. I want I want them to feel that. I want them to feel that at home. And I think we've got a big travelling support, like a a big travelling support, two and a half thousand or so. So let's give them. Uh, I want to give them a performance where they are come off thinking that's a team that's that's gave absolutely everything for the people that are travelling there. And, and that's it. Those, those two and a half thousand fans that will be there at Ewood Park on Monday. How important will they be for you and the players on, on Monday night? Huge. Um, 
and I want this to get across to them that um, they're going to be huge on Monday, but they're going to be huge every game. Um, we've had some amazing moments at this club, um, and they've backed us at the very hardest moments in big relegation fights and big finals. And uh, I think they, I, I need them to realise how important they are. And it's at these moments that they're the most important. And it's a two-way thing. I need to give them a team, and the players need to give them a performance that that connects us all. And hopefully we have as many as we can here and we make this place, the DW, and we make every away away trip. We need to make them feel that, uh, that the support and I are going to support the players. And we have to make it very, very difficult for teams to come to the DW now.